So what did I just do? Was that active or was that passive? And is there a difference? Absolutely. When you're thinking about breeding, there's two different types, voluntary and involuntary breeding, or active and passive. Passive is just breathing that you need to do on a daily basis that is run by your autonomic nervous system. You don't have to think about it. When you talk about active breathing, you do have to put effort into thinking about contracting those muscles and getting that nice forceful inhalation and exhalation. Now, I want to talk about active breathing and what muscles are engaged. The first one is your intercostal rib muscles. So it's the muscles in between each rib and they're right in the rib cage. So you think about when you inhale, they expand, open up, and then when you exhale, they contract. That helps moving your rib cage, hence why it's very important to have rib cage involved when we're talking about breathing with anything, okay? Secondarily, you have your external obliques, these guys on the side, your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, aka all of your core muscles, okay? This is involved in active breathing. So when you go into inhale, you're gonna think about expanding the rib cage, flattening that diaphragm, and as you exhale, contract, con making sure that rib cage comes down, and you're activating those ab muscles. When you see here, and then from the side view, you can also see expansion. So when you're working on rib cage work, it's Think about expansion in three dimensions, right? So you're expanding, pressing out that inner tube that's wrapped around you. Down here, okay? So when you're talking about doing core work or abs, first thing I think of is breathing. Getting those abs working, that respiration cycle is gonna strengthen them as well as giving you proper breathing techniques, okay? So try it out. <sighs> 